Where's Duke? Huh? Oh, never mind. So I'm checking out this VF iPhone app. Um, what film should I check out? You should watch Aoki. What's that film about? Just watch it. Um, who's in it? Aoki. Just, just watch the film. Who did Aoki. I? Just watch it. I don't want to say anything that doesn't sound good. I mean, he was, not that he was loud or anything, I mean, he was, wait, how would you describe Richard Aoki? Well, he, he wasn't the quiet type. Can you see the beauty in war? Aoki is a documentary film about the life of Richard Aoki. Uh, he was a Japanese American who was one of the founding members of the Black Panther Party. He was also involved with the Third World Liberation Front strike at UC Berkeley that led to the foundation of ethnic studies. And the film basically just covers his life and the different experiences and struggles that he was. So a part of. we came out to Berkeley um, to meet Richard. We had a uh, we were able to set up a meeting through Harvey Dong, one of Richard's close friends. And we had heard about a little bit about um, Richard's experience in the Panther Party as well as the Third World Strike at UC Berkeley um, through various interviews and books that were published. There wasn't a whole lot out there though. So for us, when we first heard about Richard, um, it was just a really inspirational story for us. And um, we, we just wanted to share some of that with other people by doing this film. We were really inspired by it to make a political biography about Richard. We weren't as interested in getting to know, like, you know, just the personal details. What we wanted to capture wasn't so much the details about his life, like, you know, what what was going on psychologically with him. It was just more, what, what did he do? You know, his life experience in, as, you know, um, somebody who really had a prolific experience in organizing and what, what people could learn from that. He, he basically was just talking about the fact that no documentary really got the story right from his perspective and right then and there we just asked you know hey can we do it we had no zero filmmaking experience prior to deciding that we were going to make this documentary on richard's life so we really learned as we went as first time filmmakers um who really had no pre previous experience there were a lot of trials and tribulations in making the film we we actually make a pretty good team and you know we collab we collaborated truly on the entire project but I think over time, we each kind of developed, you know, our own personal niche um, and rhythm. Um, I tended to do a lot of the interviews and Ben, you know, made sure the lighting and the, the camera work was, was on point. It was definitely a learning process. And like Mike said, you know, we basically collaborated on, you know, every single point of the making of the film from, um, you know, setting up the interviews, figuring out what questions we, you know, we're gonna put together what the outline was gonna look like. Um, pretty much every cut and paste in the editing we basically did together. <laughs> yeah. Like if it was up to me, the movie would have been like three hours long. I'm, I'm just adamant on, I want the full story to be out there and you know, it needs to be out there and we just need to put it out. And Ben would always be there to remind me, yeah, but we also can't put them to sleep. I think one of the takeaways, you know, hopefully that the audience gets out of the film is just, you know, obviously Richard's experience and Richard's story and kind of a reminder that some of the things that Richard and the Panthers and APA and folks involved in the third world strike, the things that they fought against and fought for, many of those issues are still very relevant today. And ultimately, more than anything, I think we want the audience to see and learn about Richard's life and the struggles he was involved with, but we just want to spark that conversation.